since we're coming up on the end of the month, I'm not sure how we got here so quickly, I thought I would revisit my TBR for this month of Shorty September. I, as you've seen throughout my vlogs, I haven't just been focusing on these nonfiction books. I've been reading other books off my shelves, but these are the ones I wanted to focus on. So I've just been reading them every other book, kind of, sort of. So I have um, several books left, and I thought I would just kind of like organize these um, on how likely I am to finish them <laughs> in this next couple of days. So these two I can easily get to, these like picture books. This is Science Nature Guides um, to Birds, and it's kind of like, it's a... Uh, children's picture book with lots of pretty um, illustrations and then a short uh, description there on each page so I'm for sure gonna get to this one and then this is another one I've been I've talked about it a couple of times I'm like I haven't gotten to it yet but I've just been holding off but now it's probably the time so there's lots um, there's lots of text in this one along with pictures and and whatnot and as I mentioned, uh, when I hauled this book, it comes with tons of inserts where actually all the stuff is in here. So once I read it and open up the stickers, I don't, think, I, don't think, I don't think this book has ever been read because like none of the stickers are torn. That's like holding these little envelopes together. It's just completely remarkable that I got this for like a dollar. Um, okay, so then as far as this stack of books, this one I know I, um, I want to get to because... It's one of the only non-animal books I have on my, my TBR here that is that is under like the 200 pages. So this is Don't Call Me Ba. I'm about um, a Boston lady going to the backwoods of Oregon in the 19, early 1900s. I would like to get to a Sally Carragher book, The Twilight Seas, A Blue Whale's Journey. I'm not sure how likely it is. Like the font is kind of kind of small, but um, I would like to get to this book since I recently picked this up back in... July. Um, oh, this one I'm not so sure I'll get to. <laughs> Maybe it's like the silly cover or the ape eight and a half, or the title. I don't know. Something about it's not like calling to me. So this one I'm probably not going to get to. Uh, Bird Woman, Sacagawea's own story. Maybe. Um, maybe I'll get to this. We'll see. The River I know I'll get to because um, it's an easier read. Um, and it has this like see-through cover here but again lots of pictures I think you know this one's easy and it's like you know a shorter you know each page you know obviously has less text since it's like a square square book but there is text in here as well so kind of like a meditation I think on nature this is Rick Bass the nine mile wolves I really want to get, get to this one because um I always like Rick Bass's writing so yeah this for sure is going to go on my yes pile this one, um, I have been reading Shakespeare plays all month for September, um, and this is the Oristia by, <laughs> I'm butchering all these names, uh, Askelis, Ask yeah, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but I actually, that being said, not knowing how to pronounce it, I have read all three of these plays, but I picked this book up a long time ago, meaning to do a reread, because it's been at least five years since I read these plays, so I wanted to do this reread, uh, and then probably get it off my shelf because I know I can get these on ebook. But this is, I just use this as like a reminder to, hey, I want to reread these. So this is going to be a yes now that I've finished the Shake Timber books. And plays are always easy to get to. This one's probably going to be a no um, this month. I don't think I'm going to have time for it. Um, but it is by Cy Montgomery and Elizabeth Marshall Thomas. Um, I'm not going to say it's a hard no. Um, but I was gonna say there's like some illustrations in here, maybe. Yeah, like I think each um <laughs> each chapter is a cat. Oh, I love cats. Um, each chapter has a different animal on it. Um, but yeah, this is like a maybe. And then this is one I've been put. This is a trilogy. There's three books in this bind up, so it fits the the chat the shorty September challenge because each book I think is under you know or around 200 pages. But I've been putting it off because I'm scared it's gonna be sad. In fact, I'm. 99.9% .9 sure it's going to be sad and I just haven't been wanting to deal with it. I've had this book for a couple months now and the sadness is what's holding me off from it. But yeah, there's a really cute otter in it. And then I think each, there's a couple um, pictures for each book here. Um, but but yeah, we'll, we'll see if I can bite the bullet and, and get to this one. So these are my maybes here. Um, these four books or 
three plus three, you know, six, yeah. And then I'm gonna really try and get to these. And instead of um, flipping back and forth with going to like the children's books or middle grade or YA or whatever else I've been reading, you know, other than uh, my nonfiction, I'm just gonna dive in full force into these books for the rest of the month and we'll see how I do.